I was on the subway uh, coming over here, and I, there was this couple like, arguing uh, about their couple friend or whatever, and these guys like, he's really mean to her. He's controlling and really wacky. No one is controlling and really wacky. You know what I mean? Where you think you're going, bitch? And I'm tired of people acting like it's cool to be a nerd. You know what I mean? Nerds get picked on for a reason. They're bad at everything. You know what happens if you pass a nerd a basketball? It goes off of his hands and out of bounds. He looks at you like it's your fault for believing in him. And he, he's kind of right. You should have known he was going to fuck up. I hate nerds. I hate nerds so much that my favorite movie is Revenge of the Nerds. But I don't watch the ending. Just until their house gets destroyed. And nerds, they do, nerds do ruin everything, even candy. Nerds the candy is disgusting. That's not what grapes taste like. It's hard to make a shitty candy. There's like two shitty candies, Nerds and Werther's Original. And I guarantee Werther was a nerd. Werther's Original, like someone else is gonna try to take credit for it. Hey Werther, you weren't the only one who wondered. What if butterscotch and cream soda had a stillborn son? I bet before they threw it out, they'd wrap it up in a golden blanket. Uh, whenever I was a kid, uh, some guy told me, he's like, if anyone ever calls you a dork, Say, I am a dork. A dynamite, out of sight, radical kid. You can't respond to being called a dork by saying the dorkiest thing of all time. Yeah, I am a fag. Fully advocating gayness. I mean fucking asses, comma, guys. <laughs> Man, I saw, I saw the greatest ass of all time last week. So great to the point where like, I almost exclaimed, you know what I mean? Like, damn! <laughs> or whatever, but then I was thinking about it, I was like, I don't need to do that. She knows she has a great ass. Because guys that are into big butts are not stingy with compliments. <laughs> she has heard the news. I would, I would go so far as to say that ass men are the most outgoing of the fetishists. <laughs> Because if you have a foot fetish, you really can't say anything. Like if you go up to a girl and you're like, you got really beautiful feet. She's gonna be like, please only cut off one of them. You look like a creep. Uh, I was wondering, did they ever explain how Casper the Friendly Ghost became a ghost? Right? Because that could be a sad story. Casper the Friendly Ghost had a very unfriendly mother. She gave him his last bath in a well. 
So I looked it up online, and what happened is they didn't come up with like a backstory when they first made Cast with the Friendly Ghost, and all these parents are like, how did this kid become a ghost? And the story that they made up was that his parents were ghosts, so he was born a ghost. That's what they told kids to make them feel better. Don't worry, sweetheart. Casper's always been dead, and ghosts are multiplying. This, uh, this girl came over. This girl basically said that if I didn't get new sheets, she would stop having sex with me. So I was gonna get some like nice sheets to throw it in her face, you know? But uh, I found out they don't make nice sheets for twin size beds. <laughs> They're all shitty. They're all like covered in cartoon characters or they have the same thread count as the heel of a hobo sock. <laughs> basically, the manufacturers are making two assumptions. One, only kids sleep on twin size beds. And two, if someone's having sex with them, they don't care how nice the sheets are. Which, that is probably true. Um, speaking of that, you guys remember, remember the show Doogie Howser? Don't you think if that was a real thing, like, pedophiles would have found out about it and just kept going every day? Like, there's something wrong with my dick again, Doc. It keeps getting hard. I'm, uh... I'm almost 30, man, and, uh, my grandma still sends me cookies, like, four times a year. Now, whenever I hear cookies, I assume chocolate chip, right? So, like, I was very excited last time I got some. I ripped them open. Oatmeal raisin. God's cruelest prank. If you... Whenever you tell someone you made oatmeal raisin cookies, you have to reveal the information in that order. You know what I mean? You can't be like, I made cookies... Oatmeal raisin. That's how you break a young man's heart. Santa's here. Santa Gomez. The brutal child sex trafficker. I, would, I was uh, changing the channels and I saw, I swear to God, Fox News has a new legal analyst, Mark Furman, who, if you don't remember who that is, he's the cop who's only famous because during the O.J. Simpson trial, he admitted to planning evidence on minority suspects and saying the N-word. But according to Fox News, that makes you a qualified legal scholar. <laughs> Hey, Mark, what do you think about Casey Anthony? Not guilty. Who do you think did it? Nelson Mandela. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was on this web website. I don't know if I want to do this. This joke is hit or miss. Uh, you guys have been lovely people so far. Uh, I was on this website and they had a list of the 10 saddest kids movies of all time. Which I don't know who would want that. Like, <laughs> someone having like the shittiest film festival of all time. Um, but it was at the bottom of my screen so all I could see is the 10 saddest kids. <laughs> I kind of wanted to see that list, you know what I mean? Scotty Jorgensen. He calls his bone disease dad. He knows it won't abandon him. There's no cure. 